Okay guys, so I am going to kill two birds with one stone, uh, I hope. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm going to do all of my book review stuff for my 50 books challenge uh, while I'm making my lunch for tomorrow at work. So real quick, just to start things off, let's see what I put on my sandwich, shall we? Why not? Um, so I have my bread. And I have my mustard, Jack Daniels, uh, my sprouts, because they're delicious, baby spinach, because it's also delicious, uh, peppered tofurkey, because it is fantastic. Yes, I am veggie, but there you go, this is fantastic. And my pesto sauce. I'm not really sure how well these two are going to go together, but I'm going to find out. And then I will either have the best sandwich in the world, or... It's going to taste like crap, so we'll see. That was really high. Um, <laughs> never mind. Um, so I'm uh, trying to... Do you guys hate these things? These stupid little thingamabusers that are really hard to get off of them? These things. These things. Get, I hate those. Um, but I love them because they keep my bread feeling good. So there's Anubis. He's going to come help me. He hears um, food or plastic crackling and he's just like, yes, I'm there, mother. I'm there. Isn't that right, mister? So, throw that back up. Hi, boy. Okay, so when it comes to the books, um, I have been reading... I've been reading... Oh, look, there's my, my notes, because I can't do this all by myself. Oh, and check out my new coffee cup. It's right there. See how big that is? Check it out, check it out, check it out. Ah, it's a venti. Yeah, everyone else has a Starbucks cup, and I didn't. Oh, there's Magellan. You guys haven't seen her yet. Um, mm -hmm. mm. Yep, so that's my coffee cup. I just got it because everyone else has an actual legitimate Starbucks cup, and I don't have one. And seeing as I'm from Washington, I figured I should do that. Um, so, hey boy. Well, then I have to put you down for a second. La, 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 la. I didn't open my pesto before I turned on the camera, which is stupid. And now it doesn't want to open. Good. Ah! Why does it do that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Open. Fuck. Really? See? So what it did is it took all the little pieces of plastic from around the edge, but it didn't open it. It didn't open it. So I'm going to it again. Hold on. This is one I probably should get at the knife. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get at the knife. I'll just use the butter knife. Ha. You going to say hi right there? Say hi? Maybe? Yeah. All right. Ah. Okay, babes, you kind of gotta move your butts here. Okay. So I'm gonna try and do this with one hand while talking with the other. Um. So since last time, I have finished uh, Miss Peregrine's uh, Home for Peculiar Children and uh, Alice in Deadland. I really loved Alice in Deadland. Um. The ending wasn't really what I was wanting for the book. Um, it just kind of ended, but I did like the last few pages where you kind of just find out what happens to Alice and how her struggle or whatever progresses. Um, so I did like that and I still do highly recommend the book because it was so good. It was very action-packed, so definitely don't read it before you go to bed because you will be thinking about it for just about ever. Um, but it was very good and I did like it. So there's that. Peregrines. Um, that one was a really interesting read. I can't decide if I really liked it or not. Um, I think I like the concept and I like how the stories went with the book really well. Um, you know, they helped describe the, the book in a really different way and in a visual way. And so it was a really um, interesting technique to use. I didn't open this either. That's, that's good. That's good. Wait, uh huh, uh huh. Almost got it, almost got it. One more. Almost. Ah! I almost.
almost dropped it, but I got it. Um, it's my spinach. So, um, yeah, it was really interesting. Um, it's an interesting way to tell the story, and the story itself was just really different and really not what I was used to. Um, I wish it had been a little bit more suspenseful or creepy or scary at all. Ah, 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 ah. wait, back. Oh boy. Hey, 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 hey. Nope. Down. There you go. All right. I don't need your cat fur all over my sandwich. Um, yeah, so I wish the story had been um, a little bit more creepy, but just based on like the photographs and things that I saw when looking at it, I thought it might be a little bit creepier. Um, it was good. It was definitely different. Hold on. Saying hi again, Mother? Hold on, I'm coming back to you, I swear. I didn't open my turkey yet either, and that one requires scissors. So, I should probably cut that open real quick. So I didn't think about any of this. Keep them entertained, baby. Yeah? Good boy. I just kind of finished it because I had everything, I finally got everything out of the package and it was just easier that way. So, um, here's my sandwich. See? Yum. It's got sprouts and spinach and fake meat and pesto. And that'll be delicious for tomorrow. And then I also have some oranges and apples and cantaloupe and watermelon. I don't know what I'm going to do for tomorrow. I'm probably just going to grab something quick. So either the apple or the orange. But anyway, so uh, Miss Peregrine's, it was, it was just really different. Um, a friend of mine read it also, and she agreed that it was, it was different. Um, it's probably not going to be one that, you know, I read again. Um, hold on. Um, so it's probably not going to be one that I read again. So that's probably just a, a one-time read. But it is kind of interesting, and it's a different way to tell a story. Um, and it's just a completely different story, also. Um, so if you're looking for something kind of off-kilter, I would recommend that one. Um, and for what I'm reading, I am reading right now... Um, I mentioned in the last video that I had gotten... that I had bought... Uh, Breakfast with Buddha, and I have started reading that one, and I, I'm really liking it. It's one of those where you have to go somewhere, but you're not done with the paragraph, so you read that paragraph, and then you start reading the other paragraph, and then you tell yourself you have to stop, and it kind of goes on for a few paragraphs. So I keep reading that one, and I keep um, getting really drawn in by it. So that one I'm really liking, um, and it's really funny, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be as funny as it is. So, I really like that one. Um, and then I'm also reading uh, The Secret Life of Bees, which was recommended to me by a friend. And that one I think might be a little bit like Miss Peregrine's, where I don't think I'm going to read it again, but it is good the first time around. Um, I like the writer. She writes in a, a really good way and describes it really well. Um, just kind of cleaning everything up. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, so I like that one, and then I'm also reading, uh, I'm still reading The Doctor, uh, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone, I haven't finished that one yet. I haven't gotten to the flashback that I mentioned in the last um, video, which is good, because that means I haven't tired of it yet, and actually I still really like it. Um, I'm just reading it slower because there is a lot of detail in it, um, and I'm reading the other ones, and... Breakfast with Buddha has me drawn in a whole lot more. And I'm gonna switch. Oh, wait. Gonna try and drink my milk? Yeah? Or just eat my straw, one of the two. What you doing there, mister? Gonna drink my milk? Hmm? <laughs> um. <coughs> so, yeah, so I have 
been reading Breakfast with Buddha and The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Um, I still really like The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I do still get drawn in and you get to see the main character's point of view as well as the person who's hunting her's point of view. Hunting her, his point of view. So you kind of get to see both stories, which I like, and I'm following. Um, so I'm reading that, and I'm also reading As a Man Thinketh. Um, that one was recommended by the Shaytards and Shay Carl. Um, that one, I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to the end or if it's really going to be one that I'm currently reading. It's, um, it's more kind of just like a reminder book for me. It's reminding you that, you know, your thoughts, um, play a role in your reality and in your personality and all that kind of stuff, which I've already thought a lot on those before, so it's not a whole lot of new ideas for me. Um, but I do like how he writes. It can be a little bit dry at times, but it's still good. Yeah, so for the ones that I want to read, um, I told a friend of mine she had to read Alice in Deadland, and she told me that I had to read World War Z. So World War Z is on there. Um, I don't think it's top of my to-be-read list. Um, I've been reading, or I've been sampling one that's called Open Minds that I want to read. Um, so there's Open Minds, World War Z, uh, Wonder Love I want to try, and Wild from Lost to Found on the Pacific Crest Trail. So that's kind of what I have. Um, yep, I'm just cleaning up the kitchen, and the apartment is in shambles, as I'm sure you can tell behind me. Woo! Woo, that really does get you dizzy, doesn't it? I've never done this before. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Um, yeah, so the apartment's kind of in shambles because I'm getting ready to move. So, yeah, the apartment's kind of in shambles because I'm getting ready to move. Um, I think I have, today's the 14th, so right about another month or so in here. So I'm starting to get rid of some stuff, sell some stuff, and I'm trying to downsize as much as I possibly can so that I can hopefully fit all, if not, you know, most of, if not all, of my stuff in my car, which is really small, <laughs> so I need to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. And really, it's not as hard as I thought it might be, but... There are some things where I'm like, why do I still have this? So I'm working on that. Um, and also apartment hunting and shopping and whatever you want to call it. That's always a bitch. I hate apartment hunting. I like being in a new apartment, but I hate moving and I hate the process of finding a new one. Because I always see pretty things that I can't afford. <laughs> and I hate that. Or if I can't afford it, then I feel like I'm going to get shot outside. So... <laughs> Yay! So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, but yeah, so I finished Miss Peregrine's and Alice in Deadland, and I am reading Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Secret Life of Bees, As a Man Thinketh, and Breakfast with Buddha. And some of the ones that I want to read, but not guaranteed I'm gonna read the next time, is uh, Open Minds, World War Z, Wander Love, and Wild from the Lost, from Lost to Found on the Pacific Crest Trail. So that's what I'm doing, and I will see you guys later.